Nicole, and this is my husband Lonnie, and my beautiful daughter Madison. We are here today to urge the governor to move forward with issuing registrations to the dispensaries immediately in order to provide safe and reliable access to the medicine we so desperately need. Before our first wedding anniversary, my husband and I were blessed with beautiful twin daughters, Madison and Kelsey. Shortly after their first birthday, our lives turned to chaos when Maddie unexpectedly began having seizures. Her seizures were so severe, she was having upwards of 100 every single day, and it wreaked havoc on her development. It is now four years later, and Maddie continues to have seizures every day, despite trying 11 different pharmaceuticals and the ketogenic diet. The intractable seizures make it difficult for her to walk without falling and learning new skills almost impossible. She remains nonverbal and is so frustrated not being able to communicate. She is also at the highest risk of death due to her uncontrolled seizures and could be experiencing irreversible damage to her cognitive functions. Daily life continues to be a challenge for our entire family. I am unable to work because Maddie cannot be left unattended for a single moment. She is unaware of danger and finds new ways of getting into dangerous situations as she continues to grow. Her twin sister, Kelsey, has a hard time relating to her sister because of her inability to talk and play alongside her. It's also bittersweet to see our youngest daughter, Avery, at two years old, making gains that Maddie still has not at the age of five. Many families in states where medical cannabis is already legal are having great success treating seizures in children just like Maddie. Not only are they controlling the seizures, they are greatly improving the quality of their lives. Also, they are no longer exposing them to the harmful side effects of the most commonly prescribed anticonvulsants. That is why I am here today to speak for my daughter who cannot, to ask the governor to move forward with issuing registrations now so that Madison can get access to the medicine that she deserves and needs. Thank you.